Hey everyone, I'm Lauren from My Something Beautiful Life and it is Erin Condren's Life Planner launch season. I have a lot of things to show you today and I'm super excited. The team at Erin Condren sent me a lot of the new products. There are so many new things being released this time. It's definitely one of the biggest launches that I've seen in quite a while with a lot of brand new products that we haven't seen before as well as some things that we have seen before just in the new patterns. I don't want to spend too much time on all the general info since I know that you are mostly just here to see the products, but there are just a couple things that you should know to start off with. First of all, there are three different designs for the new 2024-25 life planners. There's Evolve, Bold Blooms, which is what I have to show you today, and Canva, which is the same neutral that we saw this past year. And I love that they brought it back because I know so many of you loved it. And the second thing that you should know is that launch day is April 15th for EC Insiders. If you are not an EC Insider yet, it is free to join. I will put a link below in the description where you can sign up and get $10 off your first order. In addition to that, all of the products I show you today will be linked down in the description starting on April 15th. And before that, I will link to the preview page on the EC website where they are showing all of their sneak peeks that they have released so far. So you can go check that out for more details. Also, I have a blog post with pictures and lots more information if you want to see that too. So as you can see here, I have the new agenda. You may have seen these in the previews, but if you haven't, this is the new Erin Condren A5 Agenda. It is very different from the one that we have seen in previous years. It got a complete makeover. This is the color Wisteria, which I love. It's a beautiful light purple. And I'm so, so happy with the changes that they've made. It is vegan leather. And one thing that you'll probably notice right away is that it is more of a hardcover planner than we saw with the previous agenda. The last one had very little structure to it. It was very flexible. This one is much sturdier. And so any of you who did not like the previous one for that reason, you will love this one. Inside of it, we have some new pockets as well. There's a pocket right here, and then you get these two secretarial pockets. I think that's what they're called as well as a pen loop on the back and another pocket right here that you can use to fit a notebook in. Sorry, not notebook, notepad. So these notepads from Erin Condren, they will fit in here, just like in the previous agendas where you could put a notebook in the back, they will also still fit in here perfectly. And then this back one is actually not a pocket. It's sealed right there. So this is the only pocket that you have on the back. And like I mentioned earlier, I have the new Bold Blooms pattern. I have always loved the color palettes that they use for the florals, just the more muted tones. It's totally my style and this year is no exception. Now I had full intention to show you how this arrived in the packaging and all of that, but this is actually the second time I recorded this video. I had some issues with the first one and so I am recording the whole thing again. And so obviously they are no longer packaged, but basically you get two packets of pages. Each one is shrink wrapped together. The vellum page comes in the January to June set of daily pages. Oh yeah, I have the daily in case that wasn't clear yet. I got the daily life planner, and I actually think this year they are calling it the all-in-one daily, which I will go into more in a minute. But yes, you get two packages, they are shrink wrapped. This is six months of pages. So this is one of the full packets and this is too many pages to fit in here. I think if you get the daily, I would not plan on keeping six months worth of daily pages in your agenda at one time. I think three to four is more reasonable just depending on how chunky you like your planner and whether or not you're going to add additional pages to it as well. In fact, let me hold on. One of the new options that they give you when you're picking out your planner is if you want any add-ons. And this is true for the coiled planner as well as the agenda. So for my add-on, I chose the meal planning inserts. I believe these are the same that they have offered in the past. They're front and back. It comes with a little tab page on the front. You have the meal planning page on one side and then a shopping list on the other side. This is also very similar to in the petite meal planner. The only real difference that you're going to find is on this shopping list page. The petite planner does have a section down here that is for meal prep. 
Honestly, I really like that section. I'm kind of bummed that they didn't put it on these inserts too, but it would be so easy just to draw a line across or use a sticker or something like that, and then just create your own meal prep section across this bottom. It even has the checklist, which I would probably use. I will probably just end up doing that with mine. And since meal planning is something that I wanted to put in my planner anyway, I'm all on board for adding in an insert for that. They have some other ones too. I know some of the inserts you can choose are the different types of note pages, but I'm not sure what other guided ones there are. Maybe wellness and budget? I'm not sure entirely. But I know that there are other options for add-ons that you can choose. Okay, and then this is my other half of like my 12 months, I guess. I was gonna say a full year, but it's not a year, it's an academic year. So this one is July through December 2024. This one is January through June 2025. One thing that I do really like is that they have a tab for 2024 in this set, and in this one they have one for 2025, so that you can switch out the tab and you're not using a tab for a previous year once you get to January. Other than that, I think the pages inside are the same. I think I started to mention it, but I may have gotten distracted. The vellum will come with your January through June set, as well as the stickers that come in the back. They will only be included in the January through June packet. And then with each Life Planner purchase, you also get a few goodies that come with it. The first one is the Perpetual Planner. This comes with every Life Planner and it's the same as it's always been as far as I know. The interior looks exactly the same. You have a day for each month that has all the numbers through it so you can write down anything that's going on. I've also seen people use these as gratitude journals or one line a day journals, that type of thing, which I think is a really cool idea. In the back, you also have a page for important contacts and important passwords and holidays and dates. So that is the perpetual planner that comes with each of the life planners. You also get this little packet that has some compliment cards in it and two coupons for 20% off your future orders. And two new things that I'm really excited about. Okay, this one's not entirely new. We have seen a ruler before, but they have made it a stencil ruler. And this does apply to the coiled planners as well as the agenda. The only difference is that the coiled ones will be snap-in while the agenda will fit in the rings. I love that it has this little tab at the top. It still has your ruler markings on it, if it's gonna focus on it. But then you also have the cool stencil that you can use in your planning. And then my most favorite part of this is this new zipper pouch that comes with it. Now, if you've been around Erin Condren for a while, you probably remember that life planners used to come with a little zippered pouch. And I know it had a name, but I don't remember what the name of it is, but I love those pouches. And actually when I found out that they were not going to include them in the life planners anymore, I went on their website and bought like four of them because I was kind of obsessed and was afraid that I was not going to have enough for what I wanted. But I'm hoping that this means that they are bringing it back. Now this is very different from the the one that came with the coiled life planners. Obviously this one will fit inside the ring planner. It has the pretty asterisk design on it. And I'm really curious to see what the coiled planner ones are, if they are the same material or if they bring back the previous version that was, I would say it's a little bit sturdier of a material, but this one is pretty common for what you would see for A5 ring planners. Also this tab, I have never seen one with a tab on it before, which I think is really cool because I'm a huge fan of tabs and bookmarks and all of that. I'm really excited about those. I think those are great additions to the planner. Oh, and one thing I totally just noticed, these bookmarks stagger, which is really cool if you're trying to find different pages because they very easily could have put the tabs both along the side and they didn't, so I really love that. I'm super excited about that too. All right, so I'm going to move all of this out of the way and we can flip through the life planner and I will show you everything that's inside. I also have my current one. This is the coiled A5 Daily Duo. So same basic layout. The only difference is this one has a coil and this one has the rings, obviously. But I have some things that I wanna show you that are different on the pages, and so I wanted this one so that I can compare the two. A lot of the features of the Life Planner that we've seen in the past are all the same. We have the vellum page, of course the title page, and we go to the page with the planning boxes or goal boxes, I don't know what they're called. The next page is a six month calendar for July through December, along with some note space. And on the back of this tab, we have the January calendar for the whole year. So that is the beginning of the A5 agenda. 
After that, it goes straight into the months. And I love this design so much. I think the way it has like the paint strokes is really pretty. I love this font that they're using now for it. And for the most part, I really, really love these colors. It looks even prettier in person than it did in the pictures that I saw before it arrived. So I'm just really loving it. Okay, so this is the monthly calendar. I think it's really, really pretty. I know that this right here is not everybody's favorite. I love it because I'm not a huge decorator. I really want to be. I love stickers and washi tape and colorful pens and all of that. I would love to be. I am just not. I'm a, it has to get out of my head and onto paper as quickly as possible. So pages that are partially decorated like this already, I actually really like that. And then I throw in my fun pops of color with highlighters and things like that. A few stickers here and there. So I don't mind this at all. I actually think it's really pretty. I know some of you aren't gonna like it. Go ahead and let me know in the comments. Are you team colored in bar or not? And aside from a few little things on here, it's actually pretty neutral. There's not a lot in here. The type on here is a little smaller. And I think this gray on the lines is actually slightly lighter. Okay, so this is wildflowers from last year. So you can kind of get a comparison of the differences. I mean, really, it's there's not a whole lot to show. It's just a monthly calendar. But that's not where all the new changes are coming. So the first one that we have is that this dashboard page is now on the left side instead of the right. So if we look at last year's, you can see it's over here. It does still have that colored in background, which again, I really like that. This one is darker, but I'm fine with that. I have to say, I was actually a little surprised that they used the same layout of this page as last year, because in the monthly planners that they released last summer, this was a completely different layout. And so I was sure that they were going to use that new layout in the life planners this year. And I'm kind of glad they didn't, mostly because this section right here was a habit tracker on that one. And me and habit trackers don't get along very well. So I prefer this layout. I love that it's on this side of the page. Honestly, I didn't mind when it was on this side of the page, but I do like it better over here. And then of course we have a notes page as well and then it goes into the planning pages. And this first page is not one that we have seen before. So this is why it's called the All-in-One Daily now. At the end of each week, we have two lined note pages and this weekly overview page, which can I say, I absolutely love this layout. I think they nailed it. This is exactly how I would need to plan out a week. It has space right here that's just lined, and then it has a checklist down along this side. And if you wanted just one big long weekly checklist, you could easily draw a line or put some washi tape or a sticker or something like that along this strip right here. And you could have just this whole side as a to-do list for the week with a little space for your days. I think it's absolutely perfect. I'm so excited about this. If for nothing else is that now I get two lined pages for each week, which I use those pages all the time. I'm really excited about this change. Of course, that does add to the amount of pages, which is why this is so thick. They basically added in a whole nother sheet of paper for each week of the year. It may not seem like much at first, but it does add up over time. And I can definitely notice the difference in the thickness of this versus the thickness of my coil daily duo. But the benefit of having the agenda is that I don't have to store all of the pages in my planner at one time. In fact, my plan right now is to only have one month in my planner at a time and then use the rest of it for other purposes. And I think that's going to work out just fine for me. But of course, everybody's different. You might want to just fit as much as you can in there, in which case I honestly think you could probably get five months comfortably, but I do think three to four will be more ideal. Okay, anyway, moving on. So then after the weekly page, we move on to our daily pages, which have also gotten a refresh. One huge change to these pages is that the mini months are gone. So in the previous daily duo, we have a small section up here with the mini month and some extra writing space, then your to-do list, then your blank space. In the new one, we go straight into the to-do list and then have a larger blank space down here. If I had been the one designing it, I probably would have made the to-do list a couple extra lines longer and just left this the same size. 
but this is totally workable for me. And for me personally, this felt like wasted space. I rarely used it for anything. Actually, I never used the monthly calendar. So I was just thrilled when they said that it was going away. I do realize that there are some people that did enjoy having the monthly calendar on there, but for me, I did not, and I'm just loving this so much. I definitely think I need to find a better way to utilize this space though, so we will see how that goes, but I'm really excited with this layout. Honestly, I would have been happy if they had just made the whole thing a to-do list. That would have been perfectly fine with me, but I'm cool with this. We can work with this, so I'm just really happy about that change and pretty much all of the changes that they have made to the daily. I think this was a huge improvement, like overall, between the extra note pages, the weekly page, and then, of course, the changes to the daily page. I'm even more obsessed with the daily duo than I was before. And basically, the rest of the planner is going to be the same. I mean, I can show you the dividers, which are really pretty, but other than that, like, you kind of know what's inside. So we have the monthly calendar, your dashboard page, and then it just goes into your weekly pages. Oh, one thing I should probably mention, that you have Sunday, a notes page, another notes page, and then your weekly page. So that is how it's laid out. It always comes right after Sunday. It was just really convenient that in July, it was actually right at the beginning, but that just depends on how the month is laid out. So let's see, in November, you have your normal monthly lined page, and then it goes into the weekend. So you have Friday, Saturday, Sunday, lined page, lined page, weekly page. Okay. Anyway, at the very end, so we have New Year's Eve in December. We have a lined page here. This one actually says notes at the top, which I thought was interesting. And then we have the heritage and awareness observances down here at the bottom and some more lined space here and the end of the planner, at least this half of it. And then of course I took my sticker sheets and added them in. And you can also purchase these separately, I believe. So if you want more stickers like this, I believe you can purchase them. But I use these sticker sheets a lot. I just really love having stickers that match the theme of my planner. So if you have any questions about this planner or anything that I show you today, please leave them in the description below. I'm happy to answer anything I can and I will be watching the comments, especially for the first week until launch day, actually even a little after launch day just to make sure that I answer your questions as fast as possible so that you guys can make the best decision for what would work for you. So if there's anything that you want to know about this planner or just like if certain things would fit in it or just how things would work, let me know and I will try out whatever I can for you. I can say it's kind of hard in the moment of filming to just think of everything that somebody might wanna know. And so a lot of times I just don't even think of what questions you might have. So feel free to leave it in the comments or you can also message me on Instagram and I can send you pictures there, like additional pictures if you need to see how something looks or anything like that. So feel free to contact me by any of those methods and I will just try to help as much as I can. Okay, so this is the end of the agenda. I think that pretty much covers like the majority of it. I just think it's so pretty. And I love the wisteria cover with the bold blooms design. I think the tabs just match really well with it. The agenda does come in some additional colors. I believe it's peacock, mustard, and black. So you definitely have some options there. All right, so let's move on to all the fun accessories. Okay, I am so excited about these. There are so many fun things here. I think I'm gonna start with the new folio just because I think this is one of the things that people are gonna be most excited about. I know I'm really excited about this. I actually think it would be really fun if they made a folio like this that had the rings in it for the A5 agendas too, but maybe someday. I just think that would be fun. Okay, I'm going to unwrap it because this plastic is super crinkly, so I'm going to take that off. I'm wondering if I should unpackage everything or... Yeah, we'll see, we'll play it by ear. Okay, I will be right back. I don't know why we say I'll be right back because with the wonderful magic of editing, that was just like half a second. Anyway, here is the new folio. So it's clear on the front and then solid on the back. We have a pocket here, a pocket here, and a pocket here. This is actually to hold the back cover of your planner. 
So this is my seven by nine life planner from last year in the Inspire design. You know, I might have to move some of this. I was really hoping to just to keep everything in a giant pile because I thought that would be fun, but apparently we're gonna have to move it out of the way. Okay, so this is an 18 month planner, so it's pretty thick. And what I have heard about the sizing for the folios is that they will fit an 18 month planner or a 12 month planner with an add-on, but they will not fit an 18 month planner with an add-on. I don't have that to show you and so I don't know if that's true. I would imagine that some people could squeeze it and make it fit, but this is what I have. This is the largest one I have to show you. So this is an 18 month. You just slip the back cover in here and then your planner is safely included in there. Oh, maybe it won't. Okay, so I can get it on. Can I get it on the second one? Nope, okay. So there may be some validity to what they said because I can't get the snap to the second snap, basically. It will fit on the first one just fine. But I love this because then you can see your pretty interchangeable cover through it, which I love the interchangeable covers a lot and I have quite the collection of them. And so having a folio that covers that up would actually kind of be sad to me, which is why I tend not to use folios on the life planners or coiled planners for that matter. Another reason I don't is because it is harder to flip it backwards. So like if you were a person, where'd my daily go? I threw it across the room, so I had to go find it. Okay, so if you're a person that likes to flip your planner back like this, that's not gonna work if you're using a folio. But if you like to leave it open, or if you actually carry your planner around with you, you might be grateful to have some extra protection on it. Plus, I just think this is really pretty. I love that it has the border of color here and on the snap and on the edge and back, but then you still get to see your cover. So it's still customizable, just in the sense that you get to pick your cover still and see it all the time. So that definitely fits there. Now, I don't think you would be able to fit very much in these pockets with your planner sitting on top of it, but you could definitely put something like stickers or, oh, a notepad, where'd the notepad go? This whole area just looks like chaos right now, so forgive me as I try to find things. Okay, so I've heard that the notepads also fit back here really well. It's definitely doable. It's not as easy as in the agenda. Like I feel like it was kind of made for it in the agenda. So it definitely fits, you can do it. But having this, this is thicker than in the agenda. And so it does kind of push it up. Did I even do it right? Yeah, I did. Anyway, so it does fit. So if you wanted a notepad there, you could totally do that. And you still have room to close it. And I think also, yeah, right here, you do have a pen loop. So if you wanted to keep a pen with it, you could put that in there. I just don't think you're gonna get any pens back here. Oh, and I totally just ripped my notepad. Oh well. Anyway, there's one of the hazards of putting a notepad back there, but it does work. Or you could just slip it like totally behind it if you wanted to keep it in that way. So there are some options, but I am really impressed at how well made this feels. This is very thick material. It's sewn together really nicely. This actually feels quite luxury to me. I really like this. And as much as I like the appearance of folios usually, I tend to not use them. This is one I could actually see myself using. Really, I think having the clear on the front makes a difference for me because it feels like my planner's not hidden. I'm a totally out of sight, out of mind person, and so that's a big deal for me. If it feels like my planner is hard to get to, then I'm not likely to reach for it, basically. Oh, and one thing I forgot to mention, this is the fuchsia color. There's also peacock and wisteria. So the same color as my agenda, there's a folio that is this color. So that is the new life planner folio which I'm super happy with. And this is kind of random timing, but I wanna show you this next. So this is the Life Planner Sampler Pack. This is actually a free gift with purchase when you purchase a Life Planner within the first few days of launch. We're not really quite sure how long they're gonna be available because there is limited stock of them. So if you want to try this, I would encourage you to order as soon as you can after launch. But this is 
a really cool thing that they are doing for this launch. This is basically a little book and it has all of the different layouts in it. It starts in May of this year. So basically you could start planning in a new planner as of May if you wanted to use this little booklet. There are two months in here, May and June. So then after that, you would move right into your new life planner. What you will not find in here though is a monthly calendar. So we have the monthly dashboard. We have a weekly page. Oh, and also you have all of the different designs. So we have evolve here, and then this should be the evolve in the vertical life planner. This is the bold blooms in the horizontal layout. And then we have canvas in the hourly. So you get all three of the weekly layouts plus the new compact vertical in the seven by nine size, which I probably haven't mentioned that yet, that the compact vertical that they released last year for the A5 is now available in seven by nine also. So anyway, there's the compact vertical and then you move into daily, including the weekly planning page. And then you have a full week's worth of daily pages to try out. And then we move into June. So again, we have the dashboard page and a regular lined note page. Then it goes to vertical, which I would imagine this is the bold blooms just based on the color. We have canvas and evolve. Then we have compact vertical. This is also the bold blooms because of the font. And that takes us to the end of June and your new life planner will start. So this is a cool free gift with purchase that they will be giving out. There is also another one that is, I believe it's exclusive to EC Insiders. It is a set of sticky notes inside of a little holder. I don't have that one to show you, but I will try to put a picture of it up here on the screen for you so that you can see what it looks like. All right, so let's move on to the other accessories. I want to show you these two brand new accessories now. They're actually slightly similar to something that we saw last year but completely different versions, which I'm super excited about. Okay, so we have two sets of these snap-in pocket dashboards. This one is very similar to what we saw last year, except they are all colored, which I think is really cool. I love these colors. They're so pretty. They have the same tabs at the top and you can insert pages. If I can get my fingernail under it. Okay, you can insert pages in here. This is clear. It's just this back plastic part that is colored. So you have this peach color, like a peacock, and then the wisteria color. I don't know if there's different colored sets. I know that this set really matches the Bold Blooms pattern. I don't know if there's another set that matches the Evolve, but I love these. These were one of my favorite accessories at launch last year. And so I love seeing this new set that has the new colors on it. They are double-sided, so you have pockets on each side, and I believe that you can use wet and dry erase markers on them as well. I know you could on the old ones, and so I assume that you can on these ones too. And then this one is very similar. It doesn't have a tab at the top like these ones do, but it comes with this really pretty notepad. There are 50 sheets on this notepad, and it slides into the pocket, if you can see that. There is also a back pocket on here too, but this is really cool for adding a notepad to your planner. My only concern with this is that this is a lot of pages to be putting inside your planner. In fact, let me get the seven by nine. All right, let's just try it out because I almost feel like this is too many pages, but at the same time, you could get another notepad like this that has less pages and they look like they're the same size. So I assume that these ones would fit just as well. So let's try it out and see if it fits inside the planner or how well it does. So I got it all snapped in. It turns really nicely and you can close it. So it does actually work. I mean, it is pretty big, but the planner still closes. It doesn't feel like too much. So I think it would work if you wanted a notepad in your planner. So I love the idea of it because generally we don't have a way to put the notepads like in your planner. We have the folios and the agendas that can hold the notepads, but if you just have your planner individually, then it doesn't really have a way to hold a notepad if you need extra note space. So I think this is a really cool item for that reason. And then these 
also work with the 7x9 planner. I really hope that sometime they come out with some for the A5, both the A5 coiled and also the A5 agenda. I would love to see these in that colored or just the like the normal white clear. I am like throwing things all over the place. Anyway, I think that would be really cool to see these in A5 size as well, but I love these. These are one of my favorite accessories. Another one of my favorite accessories are these mini snap and bookmarks. So this is the new Bold Bloom set, which I think are really pretty. I love the mini snap and bookmarks. I buy pretty much all of them because I just love all of the designs and I use these all the time. So each set you get three. Each one has a different pattern on it. And what I love about these is the size of them because you can easily mark your page. Let me show you. They have a really low profile, so they don't take up very much of the page, so you can still see behind it and easily move them out of the way. But when you close the planner, they're also easy to see at the top. In fact, I already had one in there. I just love having a bookmark that can take me back to the page that I was on. And these are an accessory that I would recommend to anybody using a coiled planner. Pretty much any coiled planner for that matter, because I have put these in all kinds of different coiled books, even books that I have like taken to Office Depot and had coiled myself. I have put these bookmarks in them to keep my place. They will work in any notebook that has like the four to one pitch on it, which basically means there are four coils or four holes per inch. So anything that has that same spacing, you can use these mini snap and bookmarks on. The next item, we did briefly talk about this earlier when we were going through the life planner. And these are the packs of sticky notes that generally they come in the back of each life planner, but you can actually buy additional sets if you just want more of the stickers. Oh, I have them upside down. So the seven by nine comes with four different sheets. You have this one. This one has some habit trackers on it. A lot of these are very functional, but I love these cakes. These are always one of my favorites and all of the happy birthday and celebrate stickers. These are probably some of my most used. And then also these labels. I use these ones a lot. I really like the size and just the simplicity of these stickers. And so, like I said, I love having stickers that match my planner design. And so I usually will always get some of the extra sheets of stickers just because I love having more around. Along with that, I also have the sticker book to show you. This is the Bold Blooms sticker book. There are 12 sheets of stickers in here and the paper types will vary, I believe. So this is just a plain, like regular sticker paper. This sheet feels more like washi tape, but look how pretty these flowers are. I think decorative stickers like flowers are probably the ones that I tend to use the most. I've actually even started using them in my journal. In fact, if you are a person who doesn't like to use your stickers because they're like your favorite and so you just hoard them for a long time, I have found that I can put those ones in my journal because I know that I will go back and look at it later. These ones are really interesting to me because you can see the flower pattern in the background, but each of these are an individual sticker. So a few years ago, they did sheets of stickers like this, but the background was just plain white. And what people started doing, including myself, was running them through the printer and printing on the background so that you would have some sort of pattern. And it looks like that's what these are. In fact, I think they did this last year too. Now you have this sticker that has a pretty printed background on it. Here are some words. I really love this. I love it when they do the foiling with the color around it. Some more boxes. I also love these butterflies that are part of the Bold Blooms pattern. Some more boxes and some more, and some more flowers. I love these sticker books and I love the variety of stickers in them. I just think it's a great addition for your planning. Some more of the returning accessories that we have are the Ultimate Plenty Pack, the dashboard, and the stylized sticky notes. So I'm gonna take these ones all out of the plastic and then we will talk more about them as well. All right, first of all, I am a fan of pen pouches of all kinds. I really love the Plenty Packs. They are made with such good quality. I know it's just a vegan leather, but it actually feels like real leather to me. Inside you have two pockets so that you can keep your pens organized and make sure that you can see them and they don't just fall out when you open it because of the zipper that wraps all the way around. That was my main concern when I saw that they were making one that had the zipper all the way around was that your pens would just fall out. 
but they have these pockets in there that holds everything in and then there's also this pocket on the outside so you can put a sticker book in there i think the sticker books fit okay i take it back the sticker books don't fit there but you can put other accessories i like to put sticky notes in there or just additional pens that you use all the time anyway the plenty packs are such a great way to keep all of your planning supplies organized and close by your planner and also look at the backing to this this is so pretty i would just love to turn this into something and i probably will because i just think this is a beautiful print the next thing i wanted to show you is the new snap-in dashboard and i believe this along with most of the accessories in fact any of the accessories that have the bold blooms pattern they also come in at least the evolve pattern if not also canvas in fact, there's a lot more canvas accessories this year, which I'm super excited about because some of them have such pretty colors. Anyway, back to the divider. It's a similar layout to what we've seen before. You have a section at the top for priorities, a checklist for to-do, and then on the back, we just have a weekly overview calendar. Again, it has the beautiful print on it that I just love. And you can write on this with either wet or dry erase markers. I definitely recommend using wet erase markers just because they're less likely to like transfer over onto your planner pages when your planner is closed. And then we have the stylized sticky notes. This has also been updated with the new patterns. We have a variety of different sizes and shapes. All of them have sticky at the top, so you can see this one goes about right there, but I think most of them are around half. You can kind of see just from pulling up. In fact, oh, this one actually seems like, oh, that one goes really far. That one covers most of the post-it note with sticky. Um, the circles cover about half. That one covers most of it. That one covers about two-thirds. Same. And then these ones, are they page flags? This one, I don't think they're actually like flags. I think they are not attached at the bottom, just barely. So most of these have sticky on the back. This accessory, I know, comes in both the coiled version and the one for the A5 Agenda. So no matter which planner that you're using, you can get one that will fit it. And just like last year, it has the updated design with the tab at the top and the, like it, they used to be this direction where the coiled part was on this side. And they switched it last year to be the long way so that they will fit in the A5 planners as well. In fact, I think all of the snap-in accessories now will fit in both the A5 planners and the 7x9. Okay, and I've still got more to show you. Okay, so the next item is this new four-pack Bold Blooms washi tape. They did change this one up just a little bit too. So in the past years, or at least recently, they've had four rolls that are just like the standard size washi. This year they have one that's very wide and one that's a little bit more narrow, as well as the two regulars. So I'm really excited to see these all rolled out because they just look beautiful. In fact, I'm already loving this one right here. Okay, I'm gonna bring my notepad over so that we can see all of these. Okay, so this is the narrow one and it's got Kind of like the grid pattern on it and it's almost like a mauve color but it's got a little bit more brown to it i think it's a really pretty color and then of course we have this speckled one so it has the purple which i love to begin with but also this gold pattern on it kind of reminds me of painted petals from years ago which was a pattern i really loved i think i love it for that reason just because it reminds me of that oh that one's really pretty too okay so this one has the flowers and the butterflies on it with kind of a teal background. It's more lighter than teal. It's kind of like an ocean blue. And then here is the wide one. And what I love about this one is just how much of the design you can fit on the washi tape. I think this would be so cool for decorating your page. It will take up quite a bit of space. It almost, let me see. Okay, I grabbed the ruler so we can measure it. So it is one and a quarter inch, like wide, I guess. These ones I think are about, yeah, these ones are a little bit more than half an inch. And the small one is just, it's about five eighths inch. I really love all of these washi tapes. I think they go so well together and they just match the theme perfectly. These are really fun. I mean, I love washi tape to begin with. So that's an easy one for me. Okay, next I have a couple new petite planners to show you. So this is the new monthly planner. And if you know me, you know I am a huge fan of the petite planners in general. The monthly planner is one of my absolute favorites. 
So inside you have an 18 month overview and then you go into the monthly calendars. So this is an 18 month planner. It goes from July, 2024 to December, 2025. So you have all of your monthly calendars in here. This is the Evolve pattern. If I mean, I don't think I have anything else that has this pattern on it. So if you haven't seen it yet, this is what Evolve looks like. Anyway, after the monthly calendars, you just have a bunch of note pages, which I just love. This planner works really well for me for work. I have a little bit that I need to keep track of on a calendar, but mostly I just need note space. And so I really appreciate this. Also in the back, it has a pocket and a sheet of stickers that it comes with. But this is definitely one of my favorite petite planners. And this next one is actually just a lined journal. So it just has lined pages inside. In the back, there's no pocket, there's no sticker sheet. These are a little bit of a smaller price point than the petite planners are, but look how pretty this design is. In fact, I really, really like this stripe right here across the side. I think it just gives it a whole nother feel, which I just really love. I also love the butterflies, of course, and the pattern in general. It's just more of the purple. I always keep petite journals on hand. I use them all the time for just anything that I need a notebook for. I just love these. They're such a great size. I love the feel of the covers. They're very durable and sturdy. They're probably one of my favorite products that Erin Condren sells like ever. I just love all of the petite journals and the petite planners. And the last set of new accessories that I have to show you are some new writing tools. We have the new designer gel pen, these dual tip highlighters, and these new metallic markers. So let's talk about the gel pen first. This is something that Erin Condren releases every year. They've done that for the past like few years. Just recently, I think it was last year, they switched to using a gel pen, which I am all in favor of. I much would rather use a gel pen over a ballpoint pen. And these are just beautiful. They are vegan leather wrapped, so it has kind of a texture to it. And this is a very solid pen. It's very heavy and it feels really nice to hold. It just has a normal gel pen tip and I'm a huge fan of these. One thing too that I love about them is that if your ink runs out or if you just don't like the ink that's in it, you can actually switch it out with a number of other inks. I know for sure one of them that fits in here is the Energel from Pentel, which is one of my favorite gel pens ever. You can easily just unscrew this and switch out the ink tip with any other ink that you prefer, or if it runs out, it's definitely something that you can refill. So I also love that feature about it. It seems like a lot of the, the nicer pens that we see, you can't refill the ink very easily. And so I'm really excited that this is one that could be refilled. And then probably one of my favorite sets from this release are these new dual tip highlighters. These are in the Bold Blooms colorway, so there are also two other sets that match Canvas and Evolve, and I'm really excited to see what those ones look like too. But we have six new colors here on, let's see, let's pick one. On one side, we have like a chisel tip highlighter, and then on this side, you have kind of a medium tip. If you remember the old dual tip markers that Erin Condren used to sell a long time ago, this medium tip is similar to the medium tip that was on those. And just instead of the fine point, they have the chisel tip on the side. One of my favorite features too is that written on them, you can see the color name. So this one is Heather. And then we have Petal Pink. I don't know if you can see it on camera very well. It's, it is written kind of small, but I can see it. There's Moss. This one is Terracotta. Ocean and marigold. On these ones, the name is also written on them. So I'm so excited that they started doing that. I always hate trying to keep track of what the names of the colors are. So I'm just really excited about that change. I do have swatches of all of these pens that I will show you in just a second, but I wanted to go through and kind of talk about them first before I pulled that out. Okay, so then this is the new metallic marker set. If you remember, these ones from a previous year. It's very similar to those, but we are getting different colors. And honestly, I like these ones better. I think the colors show up better. So I'm very happy with this. I really like the charcoal and the copper color, which we did not get on the previous set. And just like in the dual tip highlighters, these ones have the name written on them. 
So we have cerulean, olive, peony, wisteria, again, charcoal, silver, copper, and gold. Okay, so first of all, I wanted to show you, these are the new metallic markers right here. Ignore this side. These are the new metallic markers written on black paper, so they show up really well. Even the charcoal, you can still see it. These are the previous ones. It's these ones. I just wanted to compare the two, and so I just put them on the same piece of paper. This is something I actually wrote when I first got the other markers. I have noticed that they don't come out quite as vibrant anymore as they used to, but these ones are coming out really nice, and I'm really happy with them. And then here's the swatches from the other pens. So these are the, the dual tip highlighters. I really love these colors. I think they look so pretty together. They definitely match the Bold Blooms theme, and I just think they're gonna be perfect for color coding. And then here you can see the difference between the metallic markers. So these are the new ones, and I just love how bold they're coming out, and they have tons of glitter in them, which just makes me happy. This is the other set, and you can see they're not quite as sparkly, and I just love these ones so much more. I'm really excited about this. I think these are markers that would make amazing headers in your planner or on your notes page, just to give it a pop of color, but I just love the sparkle in it too. And then here is the EC gel pen, so you can see I compared it to the Energel, which is one of the gel pens I use the most. The EC pen did come out a little rougher, however, it's not bad. I was pretty impressed. It came out fairly decent. And one thing that I did try, so this is the Erin Condren paper that I'm testing it on. So I just grabbed a normal little scrap of paper, and I noticed that it did actually write a lot smoother on this paper that doesn't have so much grit to it. So just something to keep in mind. I'm definitely not unhappy with it, and I'm looking forward to using it. I think it's a beautiful pen. And that is all of the products I have to show you today. I'm so excited about this launch. I think they brought out some really fun new things. I will link any information that you need in the description below so you can go and check that out. And if you wanna see my planner setup right now, check out this video right here. And thank you for watching. I hope you have an amazing day. Bye-bye.